Hey, what's going on guys? It's April here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Uzi. I know at some point it got a buff, but I'm not sure when that was, and I know it was terrible before that. Anyway, I'm going to show you on screen the attachments that I use on it as soon as it lets me in. You will notice that the video was recorded yesterday when the connection issues were not happening as much. Not on their end anyway. My connection was having issues, but not theirs. Apparently they are having issues right now. So here we are. But before we get into all that, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I make tips and tricks videos. I make best class setup videos. I make a whole bunch of different stuff. It's mostly Call of Duty related. I am going to be posting some Half-Life Alex soon just because I thought that would be super fun to do. But if you're into Call of Duty, if you're to first person shooter games, pretty much any of them. Be sure to stick around, consider subscribing, I post content on it all the time. If you have anything that you want to see me cover, put that down below. I do stuff like that all the time. We are on the road to 200 subscribers, so if you do like the content, go ahead and hit that button and make sure you turn on the notifications, because YouTube, we all know how they do. They're terrible about letting you know when I post videos or any other content creators, so. But yeah, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and hop into it. In this video, as you can tell, I really don't have the gun that far leveled up. What I do use is the muzzle brake, the 13.1 inch first responder, the Viper reflex sight, granulated grip tape, and frangible wounding. Why? Because it gives a little bit of a stun, it helps out a ton of- I think quite a few people use that, which is why I'm like half of the time I'm like, why am I not doing anything? That's why. At least I think so. But yeah, here we go. It is blown up now, so therefore it cannot blow up again. You good teammates? I'll let you take that teammate. My gun is short range. Ouchie. Oh my god. Come on teammate, I believe in you. I'll watch your back, don't worry. You're not- When there's one, there's two. Almost every time in my case. I can never get a lobby where people are running just by themselves, which I mean- I could run with teammates, you know, like if this guy wants to run. Please! Oh my god. Okay, this gun actually shreds. Despite the times where I lag out and like, I can't get a kill, that doesn't matter. Like, I believe they buffed the Uzi. Good teammate? Hiding in spawns, huh? That's real cool, buddy. Worth it. I knew there was gonna be somebody coming up behind me. At some point, I knew it was gonna happen. 23 kills, though? I'm not mad about it. God. But did I get him though? Okay. Okay. All right. Hey, it was worth it. All right, I went 28. Not bad. 
Some of those were from kill streaks, but uh, I really like the Uzi, and I probably could have done even better if it weren't for my connection and everything else that goes on. But yeah, pleasantly surprised. 2.8 KD. And I didn't even get a VTOL. All right, that's gonna do it for the video, guys. As you can see, we're now in season three, so I'm gonna be covering a bunch of that over the next following days. So if you're interested in that, again, be sure to subscribe because that content's gonna be coming very, very soon. I make a lot of other stuff. If you did like what you saw today, be sure to hit that like button so that I know I'm on the right track and I keep making this kind of content. If there's anything that you wanna see, go ahead and leave that down below in a comment. Let me know what I can prove on. Let me know what I can do better, you know? Anything like that. I love hearing from you guys, I love talking to you guys, I respond to every single comment, but without anything else really, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.